just got done from it down for the dungeon. That's right. So we have lots of things to talk about. Oh my gosh, we picked up uh, Tainted Grail. We did a game night here. It was absolutely great. And like always, we also have more things happening this week. And they're found right here. Yeah. And with that, we're going to go right into the show. Right in the sky. Hey, we picked up Tainted Grail. I don't know if anyone's familiar with Tainted Grail, but it's like a story-based epic game. It can be played with like one to four players, I believe. Um, in fact, I'm going to look at it to make sure I'm right, because uh, I should probably know exactly what we can play with. So, it's uh, one to four players. Look at that. I remember stuff. It's amazing. So, uh, basically, Tainted Grail is a... Uh, story-driven game where you are given a little bit of a, a book here and it's kind of like uh, almost uh, follow your own narrative almost uh, in the old like style of books you know you can go where you want to go but then you also have to roll dice and that tells you where you'll go further in the book and really kind of show you so this is the uh, core game right here so this is the uh, fall of Avalon I absolutely enjoy this game it's a lot of fun uh, but to go with that, we also have the uh, Monsters of Avalon, a nice little expansion there. We also got the uh, Grail uh, Red Death, a little add-on for that, so very nice there. And then we also have doo -doo 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 -doo. the Stretch Gold. This is a heavy box. I can't even tell you. you got to come in here and feel the weight of this. This thing's pretty beefy. Uh, so again, you know, it's going to be like uh, two to three hours uh, each. you got 30 chapters. So this is an epic game that can last you a very long time. Uh, super, super amazing. We're so happy to get these. Uh, we also have uh, the uh, King Arthur Collection model, uh, which uh, if you come in and you purchase uh, the uh, three things I mentioned, we'll throw this in for free for you. So it's actually pretty awesome if you want to get a hold of the uh, King Arthur uh, collection model. It's a really cool thing to do. So you get the full game and you get this nice little model for free. So pretty awesome. So take advantage of that if you want. Uh, if you don't, you know, we're still here. We do lots of other things too. It's amazing. That's right. We had a game night. It was actually a fighter club. I talked a little bit about that, right? And I have some, a uh, little bit of pictures of that. Uh, so we're gonna put that up on the screen as I talk about it. So we had nine people show up. That's right, nine people showed up for Fighters Club. It was a blast. We were playing Mortal Kombat. We were playing Killer Instinct. We played a, a lot of other games. Death and Rebirth, I believe, was one of them. And then we also played um, a very, very good game called I can't remember the name of it. Darn it. I should have picked it up. In fact, I'm going to go get it so that I can remember. Blaze Blue. Look, I didn't forget. I, I remembered the whole time. The whole entire time. I was the turkey. I know. It was amazing. If you got that reference, you're awesome. And you watch Invader Sim because that's where it came from. I even gave it away. So now you know. Perfect, right? So uh, Blaze Blue, absolutely a beautiful game. This one is uh, Blaze Blue uh, Sensual Friction. I probably said that wrong. If I did, you should go to the comments and get really mad at me and tell me how bad I am. So that's a, your cue. Go comments, tell me how bad I am. If I don't see you there, everything was fine and you didn't disagree with anything I said. It's fair, I understand, but that's what the comments fans are for. We also have uh, Nitro Plus uh, Blasters with a Z. That threw me off. Uh, but this is all a female cast. It's absolutely brilliant. Pretty great. Uh, this is a very good game. This is uh, Night and Death in Rebirth. Amazing game. Oh, Under Night. Sorry. Under Night. I make words up. It's fine. We did not play this uh, gem of a game. I don't know. People just don't want to play this awesome gem right here. Super awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it, it kind of sucks. I know. <laughs> Ah, but there was Guilty Gear. We didn't even put Guilty Gear in. We should have, though, because Guilty Gear is a great game also. And then we also had uh, available, when we get our PS3, 
Tekken 3, and then we also had Street Fighter 5! And we had uh, Injustice, but that did get put in. We didn't play that one too much. But we did play uh, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. This is not a very good game. I wish it was better, because all the other ones are amazing. This is kind of the, uh, eh, they made it. <laughs> so, if any of that looks like fun, we're gonna be doing that again. We have that coming out on, if Tracy can help me. June 18th. June 18th, before that, we have a N64 night, June 4th. That's right, amazing. That's after game day. That's right, we also have a family game day. Did you see how much stuff is going on here? It's just amazing, absolutely amazing. We're doing tons of stuff here in the little community of Bedford, Wisconsin. They like to claim that themselves a city, but it's actually just a little community. And you can help make our community better by coming down to these community game days. Also, did you see that shirt? That shirt's pretty sweet. You can go get that at our Shopify account. That's right, we're trying to keep the game store here. Every little bit helps. And we got this little beanie, that's pretty cool too, right? So uh, if you can't support us by being here, please think about uh, checking out our uh, Shopify. We're here, we're awesome, we try to be. Maybe, I don't know. We also have a Patreon and a Discord. So in the Discord, you're gonna find out lots of things. Like, hey, when are the magic people gonna be here to play magic, right? That's a good thing to know. When can I get with people to play the games that I love? So that also has X-Wing in there, right? X-Wing is coming. X-Wing's gonna be a big thing here. We are gonna be trying to get those uh, 32 people. That's right. Gonna be kind of cramped. Uh, but you know, but 32 people to compete against, amazing. We're actually striving for 16, so I better say Nintendo 64. That's how many people we want. We can't facilitate that many, but we'll try. And we can cut that in half and then half again, and then we have our 16, so perfect, right? Awesome. <laughs> oh, we also had a restock of March of the Machine. That's right, that came in, so we have the, uh, Commander collectors, or not commander collectors, commander decks for that. So pretty happy about that. Uh, did we pick up anything else? Well, you, you can speak up, Tracy. Warhammer commander decks, baby! Oh my gosh, we got the Warhammer. I, I am a big fan of the Necrons. Just saying, it's mono black, no color fixing involved because it's one color and they all fly. It's it's a recipe for your opponent's disaster. Unless, of course, they're playing an artifact deck and every creature you play makes their creature bigger. Yes, I'm talking to you, Chevy! You awful rat man! <laughs> and we got Comic Out X! Yay! So we got. Well, let's just like pan around. What we got? We got lots of stuff, right? Oh, uh, let's, let's just check. Ooh. Oh, I gotta flip the camera so I can see what we're looking at. Oh, yeah. Should we do a little zoom in? We should do a little zoom. That's right. So we have a huge list of commander decks available every time. We try to keep it well stocked, so they always have a lot. Then we also have a huge selection of uh, magic from all around all eras. So that is pretty great also. Hey, look at that. Oh, you can ask us how to get more Warhammer items. Well, that's pretty cool. So. Yeah! Pretty, pretty awesome, right? Oh, zoom in to show off the Warhammer decks, Tracy says. Let's uh, let's crank the camera up. Boop, 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 boop. Lucky for us, we have some music. Music is awesome, like me. Because I sing all the music, and the music is great, and the music is awesome, like me. I wish this guy would never stop singing, because he's great. He's amazing, he's amazing, he's amazing. Oh, look at the Warhammer decks, those are also amazing. <laughs> hey, look at that! We have a Cringer! The most cowardless cat of all the world! Mr. Cringer Coward Pants! I love Mr. Cringer Coward Pants! He's amazing! Oh. We have Cringer! Speaking of Cringer... We got a demo copy. We have a demo copy of said game. Yes, it's Masters of the Universe! Masters of the Universe! I have the power of Grayskull! 
So yeah, I think that's been enough fun, right? Uh, so thank you guys. What, what, what do we got? What do we got? Tracy, tell us what we got. I've got a picture of you now. <laughs> tell me what we got. Another curse of Strahd. Another curse of Strahd! You gotta speak up! People can't hear you. I'm also annoyed. Yeah, that is Curse of Strahd. Alright. We also have another Tasha's Cauldron. Another Xanathar's Guide to Everything. Does that have everything in it? It must. Okay, good. Because it says on the title. I wouldn't want to be misleading. And we got more magic item cards. Yes, those are very nice because instead of like having a full book, and especially like if you're like a DM, you'd be like, hey, this is a magic item you got. Just give it to them and they can kind of keep track of it. <laughs> and more bell book cards for Arcane. More for Clerics. More for Bards. More for Xanathar's Guide to Everything. So we have a ton of uh, D and D stuff. Also, we have some things that are kind of less known, right? So the other thing that we have is Caught in the Back Rooms. This is uh, by a local author. He's not that far away from us. In fact, they live now in Appleton. They used to live in Wassa. Is Wassa correct? Yeah. Wassa is correct. So uh, if you really want to support local authors, we have a ton of things that we try to do for local people. This is one of them, right? And I'm gonna get a couple other things that we try to uh, support for the uh, local authors. Uh, the same guy that does that does the Stranger Things. In fact, Tracy is getting that for us. We also have a historical uh, fiction, uh, which is based on historical fact. And I gotta flip the camera around so I can see where I'm at, right? So here we go, right? So uh, we have these uh, books right here. We have uh, book one for the uh, Cambry Appear. Uh, that's Jeff Hyde. He just put out his second book, and that is uh, The uh, Rise of the Red Wolf. He's working on his third book right now, uh, so I can't wait to see what more he has to come. So he's already two books in on his uh, four to five book series. So a uh, very amazing there. And there is uh, one more thing that I picked up from a guy. I forget where he was located, but he's pretty local Madison. also. Where's he from? Madison. Madison. That's right. So right here in Wisconsin. Isn't that awesome? We should support like the Wisconsin uh, uh, people that are doing amazing things. So he did this little uh, card game story game, right? So uh, he showed me how to play a couple times. Uh, I had some video of that uh, previously. I might uh, try to find that footage and insert it here again. All right, so uh, this is Game Stormers, our board game. And basically the goal of Game Stormers is to design a five card game narrative. So during the course of the game, you take actions, acquire cards, duel with other game creators to try to win points. And at the end of the game, everybody will have a five card game narrative. You'll pitch your game narrative to the other players, and you can either be voted best game narrative, or depending on how you kind of design your game, you might win by having the most points too. So there's that strategic winner, and then the storyteller winner. And that's uh, Game Stormers in a nutshell. That's right. Oh, so like uh, when you play this game, you can play a couple different ways. You can go play completely story. So you're given these cards, you put it on a map, and then you have to tell a story about the cards and how they work in your story. It's, that's a three player game. So one person stands out and then they become the judge. They decide which story they like the best and that is the one that gets the points. And you keep on going until you're not having any fun with it anymore or until you get a certain amount of points. There's also a point mechanic built into it for a more in-depth game. So I think that that is a pretty neat thing. And if you guys have made it this far, you guys are absolutely amazing. We have uh, gotten a lot of things. We were just doing like merch stuff and uh, we also have made little cups for the store here. So that's very nice. <laughs> we got this black uh, cup insert right here. And then I have my uh, favorite one. We actually have this in a variety of different colors. It changes the handles and it changes the insides, right? Uh, we also have thumbs that have to do with like uh, like D&D. Uh, &D. So we have like little cups that can help you like with your D&D. &D. So you're like at your D&D &D, uh, table, you can look really cool with your cool merch cup. 
That's right, super awesome. So uh, thank you guys. Uh, thanks for all the Patreons that are uh, helping us and we are gonna be having some more box openings for them. Uh, they are so gracious to generate uh, and be part of the store. So that lets us take and actually uh, grow what we're doing here so that uh, we can have cards to sell on an individual level. Because uh, without them, I wouldn't have what I need to actually take that money to pick up the box so we can sell the uh, singles out of that. So I am super, super grateful for everything that they do. And to show my appreciation, anything that has value is guaranteed to go to the uh, Patreons, uh, Patreons, sorry. I'm, I'm really bad with words sometimes. Uh, but uh, so like uh, the $100 tier, he's pretty much uh, makes it so that's even possible, right? So he's always going to get that uh, that uh, card. And if we have another uh, patron at that, we'd be opening up another box. So it actually matches that tier amount. So every time we get another person there, we get another box opening. So it's pretty amazing and I can't thank you enough. So we will do the box openings and it helps us out so much because now we have singles to sell in the store. So when people are looking for like those lower cost cards, the 15 cents, 25 cents, we have them here for them, right? And that's a lot of your decks a lot of times. It's not like the, uh, the 75, the $80 card. It's really made of like a lot of uh, like less than a dollar cards when you're making fun, just trying to try them out, right? So. Thank you so much and have a good day. You guys are amazing.